Uh, what's the functions of the diode? Okay, what's the functions of a diode? Diode are also known as rectifier. Okay, it's also called a rectifier. But what is a rectifier? A rectifier is a components, electronic components that used to change alternating currents to direct currents. Okay, and this process is called rectifications. So a diode can change alternating currents to direct current so therefore a diode is called a rectifier and the process uh, the, the process to change alternating currents to direct current is called rectifications it's called rectifications so and for rectification we have two types of there are, there is two types of rectification a half wave rectification and full wave rectification i'll show you the half wave rectification first half wave rectification eh? let's say let's say initially we have an alternating current this is the displace of the scattered ray oscilloscope eh? okay and uh for for uh alternating currents the displace is something like this right okay so we have discussed this few weeks ago right for uh, i think three weeks uh, two weeks ago okay the displace of alternating currents in uh is a cathode ray oscilloscope okay so now this is the uh okay this center lines uh, shows the uh the dividers of the directions of the currents okay so above this line uh, the current move forward let's say the current move clockwise okay the current move clockwise uh. so here the current move clockwise uh, and here the current move uh counterclockwise counterclockwise okay counterclockwise uh. so so the current it, it moves like this eh? clockwise counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise so that's alternating currents alternating currents it keep on changing the directions of the flows of the current eh? so the current flow clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise anti eh? so the displace of the cathode ray oscilloscope is like this clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise anti okay and the current actually increase decrease become zero increase again decrease to zero increase again decrease to zero increase again decrease to zero eh? okay so this is alternating currents eh? okay now this alternating currents occurs if there is no diode eh? if there is no diode there's no diode here uh, then it occurs uh, okay if there is diode then uh, that's another story okay if there is no diode then okay clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise eh? so clockwise anti-clockwise but if we connect a diode here what will happen okay so if there's a diode here now if, if there's a diode here it move clockwise so if if it's uh, clockwise is forward bias or, uh, or reverse bias clockwise forward bias how do we know okay you check the flows of the current okay you see the directions of the current is the same as the directions of the arrow inside the diode right okay so if the directions of the current same as the directions of the arrow this is forward bias or reverse bias directions of the current same as the directions of the arrow inside this uh, diode so this is forward bias okay so when the current move clockwise eh, then it's forward bias forward bias uh, forward bias the current can flow eh? current can flow so forward bias or clockwise the current can flow then how about reverse bias uh, how about if flow counterclockwise okay you see when it flow counterclockwise this is the directions of the current right but the directions of the arrow in the diode is in the opposite directions of the current and this is reverse bias okay reverse bias reverse bias means no current flow eh? no current flow okay so if we move clockwise fine forward bias but you try to move backward reverse bias occurs okay and no current flow no current flow means that this current there's no current flow here okay so this one we don't have this okay so no current flow backwards okay so current can only flow clockwise no currents can flow counterclockwise then means that the current can only flow in one direction only clockwise 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 okay the anti-clockwise cannot okay reverse bias huh? so no current flow anti-clockwise so clockwise 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 okay so then you have clockwise nothing here 
clockwise, nothing here, clockwise, nothing here, okay? So this diode successfully convert an alternating current to direct current, right? It changed alternating current to direct current because the current can only flow in one direction only. No current flow backwards, huh? so the current only flow in one direction, okay? And uh, initially, okay, it's like a wave, right? It's like a waveform, okay? But now we cut off, we cut off the currents that flow backwards. So these types of rectification is called half wave rectification. Because why? Because just half of the wave remain. The other half is cut off already. So the final waveform on the screen is the positive half only of the original AC waveform. Just the positive only. The negative cut off already. So this is called the half wave rectifications. Okay? And in this half wave rectification, the negative part of the current is prevented from passing. The negative part cannot pass through because it's reverse bias. Okay, smooth thing. So for half wave rectifications, uh, uh, the waveform is like this, okay? So increase, decrease, no current, increase, decrease, no current, increase, decrease, no current. So it means that the supply of the current is not steady. Currents, no current, current, no current, current, no current. And the current increase, decrease, increase, decrease. So this is a non-steady current. And uh, we don't like this. We don't want this. We want to have a continuous steady current. Okay, and uh, how to do that? We connect a capacitor to this uh, resistor here. Now, what is the function of a resistor? Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. What the function of a capacitor? What's the function of a capacitor? Is to keep charge or to store charge, right? Yes, to store charge. That's correct. Okay, let's see what happens huh? if you have a capacitor connected uh, parallels to this uh, resistor. Okay, first, if it move forward, uh, this uh, clockwise. So clockwise is forward bias, right? So forward bias, the current move, go up, come to this point. Okay, okay, it complete the circuit. Eh? Okay, and at the same time, it will go to the capacitor. And when it go to the capacitor, it will store the charge here. It will store the charge here. So you see, during forward bias, the current can flow and at the same time, it will charge the capacitor and store some of the charge inside the capacitor. This is during forward bias. Okay, so it charged the, the, the capacitor. Then how about reverse bias? Okay, now let's see what's happens during reverse bias now during reverse bias the the charge is still inside the capacitor okay initially at the very beginning so okay, initially the charge is still inside the capacitor and the currents tend to flow backwards anti-clockwise but we know that this can happen huh? this can this, this won't happen why because reverse bias current cannot flow huh? so current cannot flow during reverse bias but just now we already store some charge in the capacitor right now this capacitor it will release the charge okay it will release the charge so if you connect this to the CRO to the cathode ray oscilloscope then you will see something like this so forward bias the current increase okay increase eh? okay but when the current tries to start to, to uh, drop, eh? when the current start to drop, okay, then the capacitor start to play a role here. It will give current to the resistor here. So then the current does not drop to the zero, okay, but uh, because it get the current from the capacitor, okay. So this is the current from the capacitor. This is from the capacitor the current from capacitor okay so you see forward bias we keep some charge in the capacitor reverse bias the capacitor will give the charge to the circuit so the currents that we get is something like this okay uh, we charge the capacitor then the capacitor release the charge charge the capacitor capacitor release the charge charge capacitor capacitor release the charge okay so uh, then we successfully convert this one 
non-steady direct currents increase decrease no current increase decrease no currents uh, non-steady direct currents to a steady direct currents so uh, this process is called smoothing okay smoothing so we we connect a capacitor parallels to the resistor here okay then we can smooth the current we can smooth the current eh? so this is smooth thing okay so the capacitor charge up when current flows from the diode then discharge through the load where the current from the diode is zero and smoothed it. in this way the current through the load is similar to the steady direct current which would flow from a battery okay it's like a battery okay it's a straight line eh? you can see it almost straight line Okay, almost straight line.